my ghost to the Valley Girl Cooking Show with your witchy, witchy witch, Satarica. Today we're gonna be making a pumpkin pie sandwich. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna use a little bit of mayo. We're gonna use a little bit of pie crust. We're also gonna use some evaporated milk. Yeah, evaporated milk. We're also gonna use some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna top it off with my little secret. I don't wanna tell anybody, but it's a good secret. And I got some eggs. Let's start with our pumpkin. Now this ingredient is very important when it comes to making a pumpkin pie. Obviously, because it's a pumpkin. So I guess what most real chefs, regular chefs, those out there that think they are beyond chefs than I am, would just cut it like this. I, but I'm not gonna do that, cause I'm different. So what I'm gonna do is carve a little smiley face into the side of the pumpkin so that I can just push the little eyeball out. It's actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. And I do because I'm a chef. And chefs know how to cut it open a pumpkin. That's what they do. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a little diamond. Hold on, it's a little bit harder to do that than I thought it was. And I have to Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it like the bougie chefs. I got it. No, don't worry about it. Okay, so kids, if you're watching this at home, let your parents do this. This is not something that kids need to do on Halloween. I know they say out there that a family tradition is to like cut open a pumpkin or something, but that is like so not it because you have to be an adult to make a pumpkin potion the way that I'm gonna make it today. Oh my God. Cut, wait, I made a bait breakthrough. Okay, so we're just cutting, and it's a little tough, so if you get towards the end and it starts to cut, well, usually it'll just fall off just like this. So we're in there. You know what? I think I got a magic little potion going around in here. I think it's time to call my little cat, Ivan. Oh, Ivan. Come here, kitty cat. Come here, kitty cat. Where's my baby little kitty cat? Hi, Ivan, boo 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 boo. Which what you want? I want you, my little boo 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 boo. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. That's why Ivan the kitty cat. You only want this pussy whenever you need something. That's not true. That's not true. What you want? I love my kitty cat, Ivan. This is my favorite little cat, and sometimes he drops by just to make sure that I'm doing everything, all of my potions correctly. So, just so we can keep him a little quiet, because sometimes he gets a little antsy, and sometimes I gotta go off on his ass. You do that. I'm gonna give him some heavy whipping cream. Okay, we're gonna get right back on into cutting into our pumpkin. So you want to make sure that you get down into the core of the pumpkin because you want to pull out all those little good bits and all those little seeds. That's going to make your, your sandwich come together. You're going to put the milk and all that stuff in there. that pumpkin witch? Anyways, stab on into that guy. All right. Just cut it, cut it open. Looks like it has... <laughs> I'm so upset right now. I can't get him open and this freaking cat is getting on my nerves. Okay. Just pull him open. There you go. That's what you want to see right there. Guts and nougats and all those little crannies. Save it. You can so use a potion for it. Gosh, she just upsets me every time. Okay, if I so now that you got your reach. pumpkin open. You didn't have to call me. You, you know didn't what? have to call me. You are right. I didn't. But for some reason, I felt like you were actually going to help me. And you just sat there and watched and saw what I was doing. All you Quiet. Got, all you got to do is. Uh -uh. 
Ask the pussy what you want them to do. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, you know what, guys and ghouls, we're going to have to take a short break because I'm about to kick his ass. Oh, Beats, don't fail me now. continue on cooking our pumpkin well we're not really cooking it but right now we're just pulling the guts out so you're just gonna put your fingers in there and rub it against the skin of the pumpkin and just keep on scratching kind of the same way I scratch Ivan the cat which I kind of regret doing because he never appreciates me anyway and I'm sitting here trying to make a pumpkin oh excuse me I kind of went off the deep end let's get back to Valley Girl cooking okay so now that we got the guts out, mmm, doesn't that look scrum delicious? Scrum delicious nastiness of goodness. Just drop it in there, seeds and all. That's all the good stuff right there. Everybody loves the seeds in a pumpkin. So just drop that in there. Don't forget your extra little access. You can put that in there too. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of mayo. Okay. Don't be afraid, just go ahead and stick your hand right in the mayo and just blop it in there. Mmm, that looks so good. Mm. I just wanted to lick a little bit of that right there because it tastes so good. It tastes so good. Okay, so just pour that in there. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Yum. If you guys could smell this right now, you would die. This is like the new pumpkin pie of the millennium, I'm telling you. My grandmother, nobody knows anything about this. This is like my own little special like recipe that I came up with by myself, really. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that up. Mmm, does that look delicious? And then I'm gonna just add a little bit more of my pumpkin. Just make sure I get all of that out of there and put those seeds in there because that's what makes the pumpkin grow. And everybody knows that when you eat a pumpkin, you want it to eventually grow and become a baby pumpkin who also has pumpkins too. So we're just gonna keep moving on. Okay, so I'm doing this. I'm pulling all the seeds and the guts out and everything and I want to go ahead and think about adding like an egg or something because I want to tie it all together. You know, pumpkin and milk. I don't know if anybody knew this but pumpkin and milk are like, they don't really just mix like that. So you got to add the egg in there to kind of put it together and make it, you know, kind of consolidate, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. I mean, <laughs> oh, my bad. I thought there was an egg in there, but there's not. Mmm, look at that. I'm kind of feeling kind of wicked. I don't know, maybe it's the holiday season. I don't know, I'm feeling so <laughs> wicked. Okay, so just mix that up, mix it up, mix it. I'm just gonna keep mixing that up. <laughs> Okay, so just mix that up. This is going to be the best pumpkin pie you've ever had. Nobody has done a pumpkin pie sandwich the way I'm about to do it. Pumpkins actually cure you of a lot of like, you know, like the cold. It totally cures you of the cold. If you just like warm it up, like make pumpkin soup, like the next day you'll totally feel better. I do it all the time. You can make pumpkin beer. You can make like pumpkin pajamas. Like, you could totally make, like, pumpkin earrings. Could you imagine this as an earring? This would be so hot. Like, this is fly, right? I know. I'm totally, that's why I love pumpkins. And I love this season because you could just do so much with it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh, my God. So, the next thing that we're going to want to do is... You know, we're gonna wanna add a little bread to it. I think I heard my name called. Oh. Which I, I didn't appreciate what you did to my eye. 
I, I really didn't. That just was not right what you did to me. I'm sorry, Ivan. Friend. I didn't mean I'm it. Friend. But I'm making your favorite tonight. Mm -hmm. Guess what it is? Mm -hmm. I'm making pumpkin pie sandwich. We should get out of here. And I'm going to give you some extra mayo. Just <laughs> Okay, so let's just continue to soak in our bread. Soak it in. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? And now what we're going to do is crack open our crust. Pour it in there. You put your drawers in Add it. Add extra little stuff in there. Thank you. See, sometimes Ivan the cat does come in good. All right, so just let it, you know, if you notice it starts to just bubble on the side and it's not really hot, it's just like breathing. That's what you want to see. That's exactly what you want. That's how you know that your pumpkin pie is ready to go in that crust. Those are some that extra little dips. bubble, that's how you know it's a potion. Wow. Potion. That's witch's brew. That's okay. witch's brew. All right, so let's just get our crust ready. I might be getting gonna crack it, it open. Can you cut me some of that pumpkin sandwich? Can you do that for me? I think about it if you get out of my ear, I've dog. You see what I mean? Just all the time. Watch oh it. no, you didn't. Watch it. I'm a back scratcher. I know. You know what? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, and I just said that, and it's so funny because now he's actually scratching me. Right there, and let's just go ahead and get our pumpkin sandwich guts Ooh, into yeah. the crust. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm, now you don't want to leave this little piece of pumpkin in there. That was just to suck up all the vitamin C that was inside of this piece of. Which can be a prize. You know what? Let's. I'm just gonna stuff this in your mouth. <laughs> It's once again time to do the dance. Right Our here. first episode of ACW Intensity. This is the Intensity Zone. Only on Intensity can you see fast action like this. This is top grade action. Now that we're back to our pie, I'm sorry that you guys had to see that, but me and the I Ivan, we just have this love-hate relationship. I mean, he helps me, but then he also, I don't know, he doesn't appreciate me. I'm following the animal. So, I just, you, you know you. what? Forget him. Don't even listen to him. Okay, security! Okay. So now, we're just going to get this all ready. We want to add a little bit of extra mayo along top of it. Just to coat the top, because you wanted to get like a mayo like crust. Witch. It's going to be a really good crust. Mmm, that's gonna be so good. A little mayo crust. You're gonna notice that's gonna get all brown. Well, it might get like extra white, but you just gotta pay attention to that. Some real cooks have goggles that they can use to actually like zoom in. And like you can tell where it's at. Okay, but they don't know that. I know my hat fell off, but just flow with me, okay? Just, I'm in the zone. Find the zone with me. You're gonna find it, and it's gonna be right there. Okay, so if you don't see any beaded brown, you're going to have to get close to the pie, look at it, see how white it is, and bring it back up, and you'll know, okay? So we're just going to do that. Add a little bit more seeds on top, just to garnish it. You want to garnish it. Those seeds are going to get brown, okay? This is going to be a winner at, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, anything like that. They're going to love it, I'm telling you. And this is a great thing to do after Halloween and you have your pumpkin left over. And you and your kids and your cat, you guys have cut into the pumpkin and made it all pretty. At the end of all of that, you can use your pumpkin actually to make a pie and it's recyclable. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's losing out here. Everybody's winning. Okay? So... For my last secret ingredient, the last thing that I want to make sure that I do is 
add my favorite, favorite ingredient. Just be yeah. liberate with it. I mean, just go crazy. Why not? I mean, go ahead and cut the fat out of this. I'm telling you. With you crazy. Salt cuts the fat out of everything. People don't believe me, not even my cat. And he's seen me do it every day. He still doesn't believe me. But did you see the figure? Did you see his figure? That's because I got him looking right and he's working out, okay, people? I keep that cat on a diet. I don't play that. Starving. But that's, a, that, that's another. Okay, so now we're just gonna want to top it with a little bit of pumpkin candy so that everybody knows when they look, oh, God, hello, this is a pumpkin pie. You don't want anybody to be in the dark when it comes to food because, I mean, I mean, in my experience, people like to know what's in their food, you know? I don't know, it seems like everyone that comes to my house, and I'm pretty sure it's everybody, they want to make sure that their food is cooked professionally and done the best way it can be done. And I think that's why they come here. This is going to be I sweet and sour pie. Okay, so let's just crack that open. And we're just going to put it on, on top of our pie sandwich that we've created. Can I have a treat, please, witch? <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give Ivan the cat a treat. Catch it! You know what? That's what you get. My gosh. So just cover this guy up. Doesn't that look delicious? I mean, oh my goodness. Lick it up. And this is a pumpkin pie. I mean, you got the best of both worlds. You got pumpkin candy, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin guts, pumpkin bread, pumpkin eggs, pumpkin cream, and don't forget that salt. pumpkin crust, and pumpkin. You know what? He's got a problem with my salt intake, okay? There's nothing wrong with salt, people. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven. You're gonna wanna preheat it to 675 degrees. Hopefully most of you have ovens that go that high. If you don't, you might wanna get one because there's no way you're gonna make a pumpkin pie without an oven that goes all the way up to at least 800 because you're gonna have to fluctuate, you know what I mean? Ready to get go. it all the way up, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and put our pumpkin pie in. Mm. <laughs> I think our pumpkin pie sandwich is ready. Oh my god! The potion came true! Let's get it out. Oh, I gotta get ready for this. Da -da -da. Oh my god, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm gonna make a very special trick-or-treater happy tonight. That looks so delicious. I wish Ivan the cat was here right now to see how delicious and spectacular this is. Oh, Look at what oh, I've made. Oh, oh, oh. You've made some blackened pumpkin sandwich pie. Let's dig into it. Finally, right a now. success. Don't put your hand in that. It's a paw, it's a paw. Oh. I ain't got hands, I'm a cat, remember? You know what, I'm gonna turn you back to a cat. You keep playing with me. All right, bitch, all right. Okay, so let's get ready to plate this up and get ready for my special guest. I have a guest coming over today, and he's a new person that i kind of been like, you know, trying to get to eat my food. I mean, what can I say? So let's see if we can get someone to finally stay for dinner tonight. Yes. I hope you got some Dr. Bismo, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rich. I didn't mean nothing by that. I mean, I Oh, shit. 
Okay, so now I want to plate it up because I've got a guest coming and I'm really excited about this person coming because, I mean, I haven't really been able to get someone to stay to actually eat my food and I mean, I'm a great chef. I mean, my mom tells me all the time how great I am, so let's find out. Okay. So we're gonna cut a big, huge, oh, listen to that crunch. That's exactly what you wanna hear. And we're cutting big slices today. Why not? Let's go ahead and give somebody something to be happy about, you know? Why not? You know, but look at that slice of yummy, yum, yumness. Oh, and it's got a crust on the outside. I love it. Let's get that little last piece of crust. Grab your plate. Grab your plate. And let's plate it. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that side of ooey gooey. Uh, that looks so good. Mmm. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to hook it up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of peanut butter, of course. I'm gonna put a little bit of peanuts on it, of course. Um, just because I wanna go ahead and hook it up with that whole Oktoberfest, Thanksgiving harvest feel. And peanuts, you know, the field, I mean, farm. It kinda works out, so let's see, okay. Get a big dabble of love on top of that. Mmm, that looks so yummy. Just scoop the little sides up. You see that ooey gooeyness? Get a close in on that. That is ooey gooeyness. All you need is a little bit of ice cream, a shot of tequila. Just go ahead and get nasty with it. Why not? I mean, hey. <laughs> Sprinkle it with a little bit of peanut nutty, buddy. Dun dun daddy. And leave that spoon right there because some people like the spoon. That's their favorite part of the meal is the spoon. I know my special guest is going to love the spoon. He's a fan of peanut butter, actually. So let me go ahead and tell you who I've got in store with us tonight. We've got the one and only B. Steve's The Don coming by to try my very special, very pretty pumpkin pie sandwich. So let's see what he thinks. <sighs> Bee Steez. Welcome to my humble abode. And I, Soterica, the most witchiest witch of all time, have made you the pumpkin pie sandwich food. Give it a try. <laughs> what the hell is this? Try. Uh, try a little bit. Uh, that duck is disgusting. Uh, what? Uh, well, look, it's got peanut butter on it. Your favorite. Uh, I'll try my own food. You sure you want to do that? I know I'm supposed to be your help, but I ain't picking up them goddamn seeds and shit. You, you, you got me over here late at night. Damn it, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm a fucking cat. Look at this! Look at this shit! My kids don't respect me. They don't respect me. I told them I'm gonna be on the internet. They said, what you gonna be, daddy? I said, I'm a cat. Said, a cat? Well, I, I, said, yeah. I thought it was artistic. I thought this was something that was gonna be, you know, appreciated for all time. I mean, let me express myself. I thought you wanted to express yourself. Are you not with me? This is, man. This is, how many shows have we done so far? Um, about six. About uh, six? Jesus, this is, six is the worst. I mean, what, what, how'd you come up with this? It's I don't like, know, I was just thinking I wanted to do something extremely... Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, yeah, no. I wanted to show my true talents, I mean, I don't know. I was trying to help your cousin out, okay? I'm trying to give you a job out here so you can pay your P.O. officer. I, oh, damn. Now you're going to put me on blast like that? That's I didn't want to have to bring this shit up. Oh, 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 oh,
Look, Ivy, get the hell out of my face, okay? I'm trying to help you out. You up here in my office while I'm trying to do my thing, okay? I don't even have to help your ass. You know what? That's the last time I help black folks. Because they don't know how to act, no? I'm on house dress. I ain't even supposed to be over here. Well, take your ass home then, okay? Bye. Where did you go to school, you know, to become a chef? I mean, I went to school in Iraq. It's a long way to, um... Can you give me some $2 for my car? You see what I'm talking about? You see? And I've already helped you. What? I went to school in Iraq. I mean, they taught me everything that I know, Daniel. When I was in Iraq, I had the soldiers eating good. They loved my cooking. What are you saying, Daniel? I'm just saying, this, you know, we've been doing... I, I knew your, your dishes were really, like... What is it? New wave? Elegant? That's, that's, that's Unique, what... Unique? That's original? That's what your age Charismatic? Is. You know, Phil told me that that, that, that you was going to be like, you know, that, you know, if that, I mean, he told me it would be, you know, I'm not saying you did. Daniel, you did just good. try you, it. You did good. Just try some of this. I'm telling you. You did great. You did great. I, I know, I know you have the talent for these kinds of things, but, you know, it's just that I, this is beyond, this is like, okay, this is like Mozart cooking here all right and you're, you're you're trying to show people it's like trying to teach people how to play mozart on the piano you know right it, mozart was a natural talent his, his talent was so high nobody could understand it you know they couldn't understand it. they were bewildered see the point here is that you know we want you to bring it down to a level with some of the you, you're beyond, you're beyond, you're, you're higher than the Iron Chef. You're bigger than the Iron Chef. Absolutely, okay. that's okay. what I'm trying to be you're here, Daniel. You're more advanced than that. But, but I feel like show, you're not feeling purpose, me, you're not following me. For the purpose me. of the show, though, for the purpose of the show, choose choose some, some of your repertoire that's a little bit lower on the level because they, they don't get it. They, they, besides, you're letting out all your secrets here. This is your secret talents here. Right. Look at my purse. It's two dollars in my purse. Now go on. Well, how just, about some just of that? Go on, Ivan. What about some of that, that? Tell your cousin I said hey, and that's it. You ain't getting that none pie. of my pie, okay? You're not getting none. Just go, go. Oh man, that's fucked up. That's <sighs> Probably, the people probably have to pay a thousand dollars in the restaurant. Exquisite is what it is. You get so much of a bit of this, all right? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm encouraging you to continue this, but on the show, let, let's let's go for some. Like, okay, explain to me. Just explain to me what the entire sardine thing was. What was that? That was pure genius. That was that was genius. That, Oh my God. That was the most you people. No, man. I received calls, man. The producers like, what is going on? The, the sardines, hot sardines. Who does hot <laughs> sardines? I do. It's like you put hot sauce in sardines. This is this is a cooking show. And I cook the sardines and put hot. Well, I didn't really. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, work it out. And I want the people to know that you can cook. You can throw some things together. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do to make your family happy and you can still be original with it and play with some things. Why not? I mean, different things go together. You'd be surprised. You know what? No one knows because nobody wants to try it. If you don't try it, don't knock it. I mean, we had a star here. I mean, what I'm saying is he was a... He, he is big. We had a... In, in, every, every celebrity we brought in here has not tried it. I just want to know what's going on, you know? What's going on? You know what I mean? Who, what are you doing next? What What is on the list? I don't list? know. I haven't thought about it yet, Daniel. But you know oh, what? Oh, just Since divine you inspiration. We're just going to do divine inspiration. Now. Pretty much. But you know what, Daniel? I'll try to come up some, with something really, really good just to please you. Is that okay? Can I do that? I'll run it by you first. So I'm asking. It's just, you know, I want you to feel inspired when you do the show. Okay? Well, obviously not. Just forget just, that. I, no, no. Don't be like that. No. Don't be like that. You know, don't be like that. Hey, this, this was... This this had me surprised. My my jaw dropped. My jaw oh, you don't dropped. care. The, 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 don't don't do that. The, come on now. The, it, it, it's okay. It's, 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 sad. it's sad. It's okay. We'll, we'll find somebody. Like I said, I'll bring in somebody really advanced. I'll bring in. I you know what? I'll bring in more emotive. I'll bring in somebody who's really advanced to try this. All right. They they will be blown away. I'm sure. You know, we're fine. We'll do the next episode that way. Just that episode. But then the Thanksgiving special has got to be off the chain. All right, we're talking traditional Thanksgiving turkey. We're not talking about trying to put, like, scallops in the turkey. All right, we're talking like... That would like, be awesome. No. That's a good idea. You know, scallops and turkey actually go together. You know what you can do with that? Add a little butter sauce. You know what? I'll save that for the show.
Oh, you gave me so many new ideas. Thank you so much, Daniel, for being supportive. Okay, I'm gonna scurry off to come up with new ideas, brand new ideas, brand new ideas.